Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to What's in the Bag, Jay. This is a segment where I pick six movies from my collection, write their names on a piece of paper, throw them in a the bag, draw one out at random, and do a review. All right, coming back from last week is Yummy. Invisible Invaders. Deadheads. I Still See You. Seance. And making its debut this week in honor of Jay Super Awesome, who actually reviewed this. And when I picked it up, I've been wanting to see it ever since. Is Dark Walker. He had some really nice things to say about this. All right, let's give us, let me give this bag a good tussle and we're going to see what we're going to review this week. Yummy. All right, I'm going to sit that, if I can find it, sit it aside while I sit all the other movies side by side by side. And take my trusty Freddy vs. Jason die. And we're going to see what comes back next week. Remember, if I roll a 5, they all come back. If I roll a Freddy vs. Jason, which I haven't so far yet this season, they all get wiped out. And you are the only one that can bring them back. All right. Three. Still no Freddy vs. Jason. Damn. All right. I'm going to pick three out that are going to come back next week. I Still See You. Dark Walker. And... Seance. Now, if you want to see me review Invisible Invaders or Deadheads, please vote. But right now, I'm going to go watch Yummy and come back with a review later. Well, I'm back. I just watched Yummy, and here are my thoughts. Yummy is a 2019 film which runs approximately 98 minutes and is written and directed by... Lars Dumontiu. Now, he was responsible for a bunch of shorts. Now, you're going to have to um, bear with me, because this is a Dutch film, and the names are a little hard to pronounce. Okay, we have Make Neville as Allison. She was in The Day, All of Us, and Red Light. Art Hollanders as Michael. He was in Cowboys, Dealer, and Professor T. And Benjamin Raymond as David. He was in Tokyo Anyway, Cannibal, and Easy Tiger. Now, as I said before, this was a Dutch film, and this was made with a budget of 650,000 euros. And this movie is a ton of fun. <laughs> this is a zombie film. And once again, I am not the biggest fan of zombie films. But this one was a blast. Now you do have to read some subtitles on this one. It kind of goes back and forth if I remember correctly. Okay, you have a couple in this one. A couple and the girl's mom. Who are actually going to a <laughs> a discount uh, plastic surgery building. <laughs> uh, we have Allison and Michael who are the couple. And Allison's mom. Now, <laughs> Allison's mom wants to look like a teenager, of course. Um, she dresses kind of slutty. You have Michael, who is going in support of Allison, 
his, I believe it's his fiance, if I'm not mistaken. And Allison, who has huge boobs. Huge. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, she wants to go there to get a breast reduction because her back is hurting and so on and so forth. Well, right when you get there, the place looks like a hospital, sort of. But it's, you can tell it's discounted. It's not exactly, you're not getting the, I guess the the type of care you would normally get when you're spending the type of money that people normally spend to get plastic surgery. And another thing, Michael, her fiance, was studying to be a doctor, but he couldn't stand the sight of blood. <laughs> This is a Zomcom. So, her fiancé gets kind of a funny feeling that they probably shouldn't do this because it's a discounted plastic surgery place. <laughs> not quite back alley, but also not too far removed. Well, he's taking a tour of the building and he stumbles upon a half-naked girl uh, strapped down to a bed in the lower part of this hospital. She just happens to be a zombie, and he lets her loose. He, he doesn't know she's a zombie, and he takes off the, the mouth, the face guard, so she can't bite, and she ends up letting herself free, and that starts a zombie outbreak. That's where I'm going to leave it. There's definitely more to it. But this movie is just fun. It's gory. It's nasty. But man, I had a blast with this movie. It was a ton of fun. Definitely. Um, check this one out. If you have Shudder, this is on Shudder. Because this is a Shudder original. If you don't have Shudder, I did get this from the Dollar Tree. And to me, it is worth a watch. I had a blast with this. So if you can keep me entertained, even though I don't particularly care for zombie movies, for the most part. I mean, I like what I like, but the market's just become so oversaturated with zombie movies. I've said this before, and it's kind of funny because I've really enjoyed the ones that I've been watching lately. If you do something new with it, just like vampire movies, I'm all in. Or if you can keep me entertained, and this movie is so freaking entertaining. Definitely check this one out. If you don't like to read subtitles, it's probably not for you. And if you're squeamish, <laughs> you probably shouldn't watch this one. But it is so much fun. Um, yeah, definitely check this one out. And don't forget to vote for the ones that didn't make it. And... If you like what you see in here, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.